All right, so now I want to talk about layers. Whenever you uh, open up a drawing, AutoCAD comes in with one layer, and that's the layer you can draw on. So I'm going to pick on the line command, and I'm just going to pick some points by picking with the left click button of my mouse. I'm going to go back to the endpoint and pick right there, and then I'm going to press Escape, which ends the line command. And the lines that I just drew are located on layer 0. Now, if I pick on the down arrow right here next to where it says layer 0, I can see all the layers that AutoCAD currently has, and as I said, it only has one, layer 0. So let's make some, some new layers uh, just to show you how we do this. You go to the Layer tab up here, or the Layer panel, and right up here in the upper left, there's a button called the Layer Properties Manager. If we pick on that, it's going to open up the Layer Properties dialog box. And uh, once this is opened up, you can see there's layer zero, its color is white, its line type is continuous, its line weight, which is its thickness, is set to default thickness, which is fairly thin. Now, it is kind of confusing because it says it's white, but because I have a white background, it's actually drawing that black. And we'll change the background in just a second if I can remember to do that. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to start a new layer. So I go to the new layer icon, select that, and it essentially makes a copy of layer zero and puts it right below it. And right there, I'm going to I'm going to highlight in the name area, and I'm going to type in object. So I'm making a new layer for object lines. I could also call this visible for visible lines. Those are the same things. As far as color, I'm going to come over here where it says white. I'm going to pick on that. It's going to open up a matrix of colors, but instead of picking from up here, I'm going to come down here to these uh, this primary colors and pick on red and select OK. So now anything that's drawn on the object layer is going to be red. It's going to be a continuous line, meaning it won't have any dashes in it. Line weight, though, I like for object lines and visible lines to be thicker. This is because the ASME standard says they should be thicker. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And uh, ASME says they should be 0.6 millimeters thick. Uh, I find when I print that on a on a 8.5 by 11 sheet, those are just a little bit too thick for what I like. So I'm going to pick on 0.5 instead of 0.6 millimeters and pick OK. All right, so now my object layer is set up. So I'm going to pick on new layer. <coughs> and what it's going to do, it's going to take the object layer, which is the last one I was working on, and just make a copy of it. So it's defaulting to red, continuous, and 0.5, but I'm going to change this. I'm going to make it a hidden layer. I'm going to type H-I-D-D-E-N for my layer name. I'm going to pick on the color. I'm going to select blue and pick OK. And for the line type, I don't want this to be continuous. I want this to be hidden, but when I open that up, I don't see a hidden line. What I have to do is load a hidden line. So there's a button that says load. Pick on that. The layer, I mean the line types that AutoCAD are, are, are all shown, and they're in alphabetical order, so I'm going to scroll down into the H's, pick on Hidden, and select OK. Now I have Hidden to choose from. I still need to pick Hidden and pick OK, so it assigns Hidden to my Hidden layer, which is blue now. And for the line weight, again, that's the line thickness. I'm going to pick on that. I'm going to scroll all the way back up and set it to default line thickness. All right, I'm going to make... Uh, another layer, and I'm going to call it Center, C-E-N-T-E-R, and this layer I'm going to pick on color. I'm going to make it green and select OK. For the line type, I need a center line, which is not here, so I'm going to pick Load. I'm going to scroll down into the C's. I went past it, looks like. Find Center, pick OK, and then I'm going to select Center, and pick OK, and that assigns center to it. And because hidden, my hidden layer was set to default, this is also set to default. At that point, now I have four different layers. I'm going to close my Layer Properties Manager. Now, I want to show you when I go back to my Layers control here and pick on the down arrow that I have all those layers, and to set the, the layer current that I want to be current, I'm just going to pick on Object. Now, with Object Current, if I draw a line, I'll go over and pick the Line command, those lines are going to be red. And then I'm going to press Escape. Now I'm going to go turn the grid off again so you can kind of see what I have here. And so you can see that I have red lines, and those red lines are on the object layer. The black lines were drawn on layer 0, 
And the other thing I'm going to do is come down to my status bar and there's a button that says LWT and this will show the line weight of the line. So by picking on LWT you can see that the object lines are showing up thicker because they are set to 0.5 millimeter line thickness while the layer zeros lines are set to default line thickness. So I'm going to change uh, to the hidden layer. I'm going to draw some lines on the hidden layer and you will see these will be blue hidden lines. Press escape. Uh, I'm going to go to the center layer, pick on the line command. I'm going to pick a point, just pick a few points around the screen, press escape. And so you can see I have center lines, hidden lines, object lines or visible lines, and then I have these black lines that are on uh, layer zero. Okay, so a second ago I said I was also going to change the background color from white to black. And uh, this is easy to do. I'm just going to, I want to do, press escape, make sure I'm not in a command. Then I'm going to right click my mouse and it's going to open up a menu. I'm going to go pick on options and that's going to open up a dialog box and there are a bunch of tabs across the top and I'm going to pick on the one that says display. Then I'm going to come down here to this button that says colors and pick on colors and then I'm going to come right over here to the upper right, pick on this down arrow next to where it says white and I'm going to choose black. I'm going to pick apply and close. I'm going to pick apply and pick OK and now I have a black background. I have blue hidden lines, red visible lines, green center lines, and I still have uh, the lines I drew on layer zero, but now they're showing up as white against that black background. And uh, this is essentially the steps to setting up a drawing.